This is Xiaomi's new Pad 6 Pro, and it looks to be the best value tablet in the market today. Xiaomi have it priced starting from 2499 RMB, which when you convert it is about 29,500 rupees or 360 US dollars. And for this price, there is a whole lot they're offering. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech, and today let's unbox and take a close look at what Xiaomi's done with the Pad 6 Pro. So this here is the box that the Pad 6 Pro comes in. Looks like a pretty standard tablet box with prominent Dolby Vision Atmos branding to the bottom. This is the 8 to 56 I have, and that's something I hate Xiaomi for, because they do this a lot, don't they? The reason I got the 8256 is because the 8128, though it was announced, wasn't available at launch. And this is not the first time they're doing it. At this point, you could even say it's SOP for them. Have a nice low starting price, don't put the base on sale, and have impatient buyers paying for higher SKUs that they don't need. They aren't technically doing anything wrong, but these kind of tactics do leave a sour taste in the mouth. They've even done it with some sought after colors. Anyways, if you've ever faced this with Xiaomi or any other brand, Tell me a story in the comments below. Moving on, let's go ahead and open up the box. Straight up, we have the Pad 6 Pro itself. It feels surprisingly light in hand. Actually, with a weight of 490 grams, the Pad 6 Pro, it's one of the lightest 11-inch tablets around, even lighter than its predecessor by a good 25 grams. Now, the Pad 5 Pro was pretty sleek. It was just 6.9 millimeters thick. Xiaomi shaved that down to 6.5 millimeters this time around. Okay, let me walk you through the device. As you saw, there's nothing to the left. We have the volume keys and a pair of microphones to the right. Now here's where you place the stylus, which is sold separately. Now don't think I'm being too negative, because I really am not. I was very disappointed in Xiaomi for this decision. Their last gen smart pen doesn't work with the Pad 6 Pro. It's frustrating since it doesn't even seem to be a hardware compatibility thing, because before I updated the firmware, the button presses, etc. registered fine. It would even connect and charge, but it now shows this not compatible error. I mean, with something like the keyboard case, I get it. They moved from the pogo pens here to here, and also the camera cutout's different, so the last gen keyboard case not working with the Pad 6 series, I can see why. But for the smart pen, it's disappointing. Anyways, up top we have Dolby Vision Atmos branding, the speakers, and a power button. This one has a fingerprint scanner built into it, and I found it to be pretty quick and accurate. And the bottom is where we have the speakers, another pair of microphones alongside a USB Type-C port. So as you can see, there is no headphone jack or support for microSD here. Also, there is no 5G model either. The Pad 6 series is Wi-Fi only, which personally, I don't have an issue with. Also, just like with the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, Xiaomi switched the Type-C port here to USB 3.2 Gen 1, so you can do video out. You can mirror stuff onto a larger monitor or use these kind of glasses. I absolutely love this change. Do note that the sides and the back are metal this time around, and the Pad 6 Pro, it feels great to hold in use. It's very light, very sleek, quite comfortable. Anyways, let's now get the unboxing part over with. We then have a couple of boxes underneath. The first one has the quick start guide, while the other box, it contains an orange accented USB Type-A to Type-C cable and a 67 watt charger. Then there's also this box, which houses the book cover case. Well, it's usually sold separately. I did get one with my purchase. I'm guessing it's a pre-order freebie. Anyways, it attaches via magnets to the back, doubles as a kickstand and puts your screen to sleep when closed, wakes it when open. Now circling back to that 67 watt charger, using this you can charge the Pad 6 Pro from 0 to 100 in about an hour. Now an hour for full charge might not seem like much, but keep in mind, despite how thin this tablet is, it still has a large 8600 mAh battery on the inside. So an hour for an 8600 mAh battery? That doesn't seem too bad now, does it? Talking about what's on the inside, the Pad 6 Pro is powered by last year's flagship Qualcomm chip, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. This makes the Pad 6 Pro the most powerful Android tablet as of today. I'm sure Samsung would soon have something to say about it, but for now, these specs, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, up to 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, up to 512 gigs of UFS 3.1 storage, this is the max you can get on an Android tablet. On the software side of things, the Pad 6 Pro is running on MIUI Pad 14, built on top of Android 13. I'm sure you're familiar with MIUI, but there are some tablet-specific features that Xiaomi is offering here. For example, if you swipe up from the side of the bar at the bottom, you bring up a dock. From here, you can drag and drop any app that you want to launch in a floating window. Now, you can resize this app or hold the bottom handle and just flick it away to close it. You can also drag and drop an app from the dock to one end of the screen to run the app side by side. 
Now you can resize the apps as you see fit and double tapping here will cause the apps to swap sides. Now once you're done, these apps will show up in the dock as a pair. From here, you can save the pair to the home screen if you want to. Now I've already done that, so I can just go ahead and launch these together anytime I need to. Alternatively, you can just do a three finger swipe from the side and get a list of all the apps you have installed. From here, you can again launch them side by side, resize them as you see fit. This is just another convenient alternative to get multi-screen functionality. And there are a lot of small touches like these that Xiaomi is thrown in. Overall, the user experience seems great here on the Pad 6 Pro. Everything feels snappy and super fluid. Of course, given the specs on the inside, I'd be surprised if it didn't run things this smooth. That said, the display here also plays a major role. Because Xiaomi's gone for a 144Hz panel this time. Now, while it doesn't support LTPO tech, when left on default, this panel can switch between seven different refresh rates depending on what you're doing on screen to improve battery efficiency. Manually, you can choose between 60, 90, and 144Hz by yourself. So this display is yet another highlight for the Pad 6 Pro. This here is a 11 inch IPS LCD panel covered by Corning's Gorilla Glass 3. The resolution has been up from the last time around. Xiaomi is calling this a 2.8K screen. So we get a higher pixel density of 309 pixels per inch, pretty darn sharp. And if it's not obvious yet from the branding you saw up top, the branding you saw on the box, the Pad 6 Pro supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision. Though as of now, it doesn't seem to work with Netflix. Nonetheless, watching videos, consuming media, the Pad 6 Pro should be great for it, given this display, given the stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. Now we also get a 20 megapixel selfie camera that seems to be decent and should work well for your video conferences and whatnot. Talking about cameras, to the back we have a camera array that looks eerily similar to what we saw with the Xiaomi 13 Pro, but the keyword here is looks, because that is where the similarities stop. The quality is nowhere close to as good, but given this is a tablet, it doesn't need to be as good. The primary here, it's a 50 megapixel 1x2.76 inch sensor paired with an f1.8 lens. The secondary, it's a depth sensor. Initial impressions, the images, they seemed fine for a tablet. Now, if you want to be that guy holding up a tablet to capture video, the Pad 6 Pro allows you to do so. It can shoot videos at up to a 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. So overall, despite the sketchy sales tactics, the non-compatibility with last-gen accessories, I can't help but be impressed by this amazing flagship tablet Xiaomi's put together. It seems like great value for the price they're asking, and I'll have more to say about this in my full review. But for now, let me know what you think about the Pad 6 Pro. What do you think would be an app price for this if Xiaomi were to launch it in your market? Leave a comment down below. And with that, I guess we are at the end of this quick little unboxing and hands-on. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about the video. Subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks for your time, thanks for watching. Until next time, my name's Ash, you've been watching C4 ETech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day, bye-bye.